Good morning, you're on the Brecky Show with Scotty. It is at just turned 19 minutes away from 9 o'clock, which means we've got about 25, 24 minutes to talk about sport. We always go overboard with uh, sport on a Monday, uh, and it is Monday, so it's a very, very good morning to uh, Chips. Hello, Chips. Oh, How are you? Fish, I'm very well, thank you. How are you? Um, very, very well, and thanks very much for filling up my studio today. Oh, we've uh, done that today, Chips. haven't we? You sure have, because it is a very good morning to, uh, well, it looks like half the soccer team from <laughs> Kununurra. At least. Uh, a very, very good morning to uh, uh, Steve, Dominic and Alvin, some great soccer players, and a very good morning to their uh, great coach, uh, Olga. A very good morning to you. Olga, yeah. how are you? Good morning, everybody. Yeah, I'm, I'm very well. No, thank you. Good to see you in here, guys. Yeah, thanks very much for coming in and talking about uh, what we often talk about, uh, the beautiful game, the round ball, the game that they know is football all around the world, but we, of course, here in Australia called soccer. Uh, what a great game. I played it when I was a kid about your age as well. It's a, it's a great game. Uh, and uh, look, um, uh, Albert, maybe we'll talk with, uh, with you first. Yeah. Uh, why, why are you in the studio? You've been um, doing some special things recently. Yeah, we, we, uh, we did something very special now. So um, we had to, a number of years ago, we went to, to Catherine, but this time we went even further. So we got, uh, um, we got to go to, uh, to Perth uh, with five players and we had the opportunity to play with some professional uh, coaches uh, learning new skills. And uh, we were very lucky uh, to do this. Uh, we also got support from the, from the local government Obviously, the Soccer Federation is uh, keeping strong with uh, 100 members in, uh, in the first term and in, a, in the fourth term. Lots of young, yeah, lots of uh, um, sort of uh, young players, and uh, I really benefit as a parent and I help out with with coaching. And um, we had that golden opportunity to go down um, with those five lads and. Uh, we had a great time. Uh, so we had professional coaches who, who uh, have professional licenses. Uh, another guy from Argentina, he coached in four different countries. Wow, um, in Argentina, in even in Germany, five years in New Zealand, and he is now the regional representative from uh, from Barcelona. Wow, well, um, Western Australia uh, must be pretty lucky to have somebody like that. Or yeah. did he come over especially for it? Or he's no, no, uh, the soccer camp had around a sort of 150 to 200 kids, uh, yeah. birth, uh, uh, based in Swan Valley, and then we drove to uh, some good soccer fields. So it was a camp for coaching as well as, was it mostly about coaching? And, uh, the camp was, uh, was for different age groups from under 12s up to, I think, under 17s. Mm. So we had different coaches and we really learned skills how to actually play soccer properly how to warm up, how to warm down, uh, so that you actually reduce the risk of um, Injury. injuries. What, very what important. Is, what is very, very important. Very important, yeah. No, so you can't, uh, you, you need to make sure that uh, the muscles are staying in as good condition as possible. Well, um, uh, although we're going to talk uh, to uh, three of the stars that went down there. Yeah. Uh, a very good morning to you boys, um, Steve. Steve, you play up front uh, on the left side, did you say? Uh, right. On the right hand side. Yeah. Uh, Dominic's in defence uh, and uh, Album is a midfielder. Right. And uh, boys, uh, just give us an idea. Uh, we'll start with you, Steve. Uh, the camp over the last, um, how, how long were you down there for? Uh, about four days. Okay, and, and how was it? What did you get out of it? Uh, I met, met a lot of new people and learned a lot about the football tactics that could benefit my skills in the future. Great. Brilliant. And Did you play uh, games against other people? Uh, yeah, we had one like full game at the end. So on your Monday. team? Yeah. Yeah, against. Against um. Uh, team from the local area. Yeah, from the local area. Oh great! How how did you guys go? It was a bit it was challenging. I uh, yeah a little a little bit, but I think we won in the end. Oh. Well done. Wow, that's now, great. Dominic, did you learn some tactics as well? Yep. We, What's we, more important, offense or defense? Oh, great! <laughs> <laughs> Aren't they both important? 
Well, they are very important, oh. but uh, you know, some teams, um, you know, I international teams are very aggressive. Some are very, very defensive. Um, and uh, you know, we we love the World Cup when it rolls around. You uh, you start to see some very defensive games uh, towards the end of the uh, uh, the cup, where uh, the knockout series and things like that. Uh, you're in defence. What do you think? Defence or offence? Uh, should be be attacking, I, or should you be uh, protecting? I think the defence is more important. <laughs> well, I asked the defence player, <laughs> but uh, it is very very important. Uh, you, you, you know, you can't let the other team score goals, but. Uh, you still got to get out there. Um, now, uh, Alvin, you're a midfielder. Yeah. Uh, a lot of um, a lot of the uh, tactics involved in the midfield, sort of, yeah. um, um, you know, running the game almost, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Um, uh, you you learn a lot at the camp, did you? Yes, yes, I did. Fantastic. Would you like to go again down to the camps? Would you like to go um, yeah, down there? Yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah. Who were the other players that went with you? It was um, Cameron. Cameron, Cameron and Thornish. Yeah. Oh, okay. There's a couple of players who want to hear. Uh, uh, Cameron is busy with his so uh, yeah, year, yeah. year 12. Mm. And another player, Solomon, um, so is still down in, uh, in Perth. Oh, is he? But um, w one thing we have learned, because I was able to um, even to, to watch uh, watch some of the games, some of the coaches now, is is actually ball position. Now, so you're not just. Uh, kick the ball away, you yeah. actually try to keep the ball in a particular and uh, try to, you know, and that's also important that other players uh, then actually make sure they run with them so that uh, that person with the ball actually has the opportunity to pass on the ball. Now, so normally sometimes people think, okay, I just can kick the ball away and that, that's good. Not but that's, about where but that, that's not how you actually uh, win, win games if you look at Spain or some, some other top been... teams. They are very good uh, with, uh, with the ball strategy and, yes. and, and ball possession. Right? Well, interesting you mentioned Spain. Um, they, the work that they put in, just being able to kick and stop the ball between players is incredible. And you watch them and, and compared to uh, a minnow like uh, like Australia, we are a sort of still a minnow in the in the, uh, in the great game. We've got some great players and they go overseas and all that sort of stuff, but we've still uh, a rather small um, football nation as compared to some of the uh, juggernauts over in Europe and uh, um, Asia and uh, uh, South America. But uh, the work that they put in, just learning how to kick precisely and stop the ball and continue playing is amazing. Mm. Um, Olga, may maybe you tell us a little bit about the history of, or not, uh, not necessarily the history, but uh, w where is soccer in Kununurra at the moment? Um, it's a, it's always been a, a popular game with kids, but it's also been on the peripheral of uh, of coming a bit. Yeah, um, I just must say, uh, must say some some people with the wording that it wouldn't be as important for me, but uh, a real soccer players where they talk about uh, uh, football, and I want to appeal to uh, some of the listeners or if you have friends of them. So the soccer club is going strong since uh, 2013, and we really rely on those people. Or actually volunteers. the volunteers or yeah. actually who, who run the club. Now I play a minor role but nevertheless going down with the boys or was huge. helping with, with coaching. Um, that's uh, that's sort of my part. Um, we have uh, around 100 players. Now sometimes it fluctuates a bit, bit up and down. We need obviously um, more parents. We need them. more we, we always need more parents with skills. There's sort of really no skills required. Uh, you can learn them on, on the way whereas information sort of online and um, uh, the soccer starts again uh, for turn four and it's on the on the egg oval um, between five Friday and six again. Fridays and it's also for, for adults or from, from 15 year olds Wednesday we still play outside we go at some stage when we get it uh, a bit hotter right. indoors yeah. but it's from 6 30 Wednesdays to um, 8 p.m. And one thing what I would like to say, sorry for talking that long, is um, there is a wish that we may get in some park, uh, maybe hopefully um, uh, a soccer goal uh, placed so that the young lads um, 
if you look around at our spot, some uh, couple of families, few families actually play two or three times oh, look, in a week. Great, it nearly seems like it's every day. I look outside at the park yeah. in Barding Loop there, Scotty, and these guys are out there. Always such a big number of Brilliant. players yeah. um, out there kicking, you know, honing their skills. And yeah, it, it's really excellent to see. And I'd just like to commend the club and, you know, people like you guys who are part of the club and you, Uber, for giving up your time. And obviously, there's big cost involved to. Uh, Travelling down to Perth, we all know that, Scotty. Yeah. And remember when the Minister was here and we were talking about those um, active regional community yeah. grants that I said, you know, Minister, please put them across. Um, these guys did were successful in getting $2,500 worth of funding from our department Brilliant. to go down there. Yeah, and they've also applied for another lot of our funding, well, which is the Athlete Travel Subsidy Scheme. So well done to Minister Mick. More money. I know, good on you, Minister Mick. He actually uh, approved Thank you very much. No. <laughs> yeah, about well, of seven of our um, grant um, from various grants for various clubs, so that was really pleasing to see. And yeah, so good on everyone from the club for giving up their time. So you know, these kids bringing back their skills and everything that le they learnt to pass on to the other uh, players in the club. And that's uh, that's on the cards, is it, uh, over uh, for? Um uh, for some of the, the for the, some of the stars to uh, maybe pass on a few skills to the young ones as well. I think that's uh, that's that's the idea to take some. Uh, that's I, a I wouldn't idea. say brush away, but but where I invited also to yeah. have some ideas for for the soccer training. Yeah. And what I also want to say is the interesting thing down. Uh, it is not just about the game. It's also about uh, some, 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 some life skills. So Absolutely. The, the coach has actually said, what, how, what do you need to do to be su uh, successful? And someone said, work hard. The coach said, well, I will make you, I, I will look if you actually work hard. But they also had to be in the camp uh, working together as a team. Mm -hmm. So, and those, I really can say, all, all those players I went down with were, were several different houses where all performed very well and where they joined in we had team talks um they really team learned team. learned a lot uh, for the club but also for for other situations it's not just about soccer if we're successful we can use it in any uh, living you know absolutely uh, and look, you're very situation. you're very good at that because i know that um, you're involved in park run you've um you, you're always out there training with your kids or Taking them to sport, obviously, and um, park run starts up again at the end of this. this yeah, month. yeah, park, park run is uh, so. I mean, uh, I just can brace myself. I won it. I won it <laughs> thirty times. No, for my age, not not too bad. You won it. Yes, remember, Scotty, we've mentioned Uber and his yeah. son, um, Sebastian. Yeah. Yes. Sebastian. It's either you know one of these two winning park run most most yeah. weeks. <laughs> but uh, but Parkland is on again uh, Saturday in a week on the 24th at 7 o'clock, so we would like to see many people coming. Can you get down there, Dominic? Yeah, that's good. We'll talk about Park Run uh, when it rolls around. Uh, but um, yeah, uh, soccer every Friday during Term 4 at the Ag Oval, 5 till 6. And uh, of course, they also group on a Wednesday from 6.30 until 8. You get a lot of the backpackers along for that. They really love that Wednesday uh, get together for, uh, uh, for a bit of soccer. Yes, um, yes and we've, no, had, yes. Uh, we've um, Chips and myself, um, I've got uh, boys that have played soccer and, uh, and they love it. Um, so that's, uh, that's a bit more informal, isn't it, the Wednesday? Set, the, 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 the Wednesday is a bit more informal. Yeah. It, it just adds another thing. I mean, it, it's great when people stay, uh, play sport. It doesn't matter if it's basketball, footy. You're or absolutely soccer. right. And uh, that's, that's attractive if uh, more sport is happening. And we totally market. agree with what you're saying with um, the life skills. Um, sport is so important. Yeah, you know, getting involved with their uh, Well, yeah, but just um, the, the things that you learn, life skills mm, in, 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 in sport, uh, it's very, very good. It's so important for the Australian um, uh, way of life. And all, and all um, the boys performed really well down south. So yeah, congratulations, guys. Well done. All right, well, look, um, so that's uh, no, 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 plenty of sport played over the weekend, that's enormous right. amount of sport. Um, we're, going to, uh, we're going to talk to Dominic because, uh, because Dominic, not only is he uh, a fantastic um, soccer player in defence, he knows a bit about tennis. Tell us what happened in the world of tennis, uh, Dominic. Uh, I think today um, Nadal uh, smashed Djokovic, 6-0, 6-2, 7-5. Well done. Well done. Uh, he's, he's, a, he's a master on uh, on clay, though, isn't he, yeah. Raphael? That's, uh, is that his eighth? Is that his eighth um, French Open? Yeah, 
Well, 20 well, I think, left. Why, why didn't oh, yeah, actually, it might, might, be, might be about 13. Yeah, I think it was 12 before. It might be 13, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and he's, uh, what, 20 Grand Slam tournaments now yeah. uh, equals uh, Roger Federer. Roger Federer, yeah. So um, he is, is my wife's favourite tennis player as well. <laughs> he's a good uh, one. Very, very popular. So that's the French Open. Thanks, oh, Dominic. Can you tell us about the women's, Dominic? Oh, yes. Um... The Polish woman won against That's, um, Iga Sofia Kennings. Go on, say that name. Dominic. Sorry, go say um, that name again. Iga Swetik. Do you know how to say it, Scott? No, no, no. Yeah. That's what I'm it's saying. It's still dry. No. <laughs> how do you say it? I, it would be a time breaker for me too. No, so. oh. <laughs> it, it sounds pretty good to me. Yeah, okay, um, okay. Look, an enormous amount of uh, sport played on the weekend. Let's have a quick uh, look at um, another form of football, a very popular form of football mm -hmm. here in Australia. And we are talking about AFL. Uh, a couple of uh, semi final games played uh, over the weekend. Friday night, um, uh, Richmond did away with, uh, uh, with the Saints uh, on Friday night. And uh, for all we got, for all of the um, uh, Geelong fans, they would be cock a hoop. Uh, after, Gosh, Scott, uh, I don't believe I've heard that term before. Uh, well, they would be cock a hoop. Very, very happy. <laughs> uh, because they smashed. Collingwood. Okay, yeah. And you know, the only people that would be upset would be Collingwood supporters. <laughs> Everybody else would be going, you yeah, beauty. You uh, uh, 68 okay? points no. thrashing no, no. of Collingwood. And uh, I don't know if you've seen the newspaper, but the photo of Eddie, uh, Eddie Maguire it's watching his uh, beloved Collingwood get, get destroyed was um, gold. <laughs> There's no other word for it, gold. He was uh, almost in tears. He probably did have a few tears. Oh, and you would. He, you know, they, yeah. they, they were putting anyway. So, uh, what have we got uh, coming up next week? We've got uh, Port Adelaide versus Richmond at the Adelaide Oval. So Port have got a little bit of a hometown advantage. Richmond played uh, the Crows in the last of the home and away series at the at the Adelaide Oval. Uh, so they've they've seen it uh, recently. You know, it's pretty familiar to them. That's going to be a cracker of a game, uh, and uh, Richmond have a way of uh, getting into uh, finals recently anyway. So well, that's going to be a great game, Port Adelaide versus Richmond, that's on Friday. And then the Saturday game is also going to be a beauty at the Gabba, the Lions versus the Cats, and the Cats will be coming off uh, a big win against uh, Collingwood, um, so uh, that should be a great game on Saturday. Uh, I'm going, going for, for Port, Lions. but only just. Oh, really? And I'm going for um, Brisbane, but only just. <laughs> uh, and uh, whatever the four matchups, it's going to be a great grand final. Um, I think Port Adelaide don't want to see Geelong in the grand final, though. They, they got smashed by them in the grand final a few years ago. <laughs> uh, in fact, I think their last showing was, um, was one. Uh, they'd like to see, Port Adelaide would like to see the Brisbane in there. They won their first grand final against Brisbane all those years ago, 2004, I think. Okay. Uh, and Richmond, uh, well, they know what to do over the last few years, um, winning two out of the last three grand finals. Uh, so any of those four teams uh, would be very, very happy to be in there next. Um, we'll find out. We'll talk about it next Monday. Thanks, Scotty. You know, that was, that um, our soccer players are very quiet about AFL over here. Not much to say about the... Um, what about, not, much, not much about <laughs> AFL, no, but what about rugby? Yeah. No, no, what about the Bledensloe Cup? That was a 16-all draw. Who even knows about, and, right? about, knows about it? You, yeah, the, the Bledensloe Cup uh, might come back to Australia if you're lucky, but I think it's it has been for 15 years over in New Zealand. Yeah, well... And well, longer, and uh, so we had yesterday a very tight draw, and the, the Aussies were unlucky because they hit the poles, yeah. so they could have won the game. So that would have put them in the box seat. But they were a little bit... The Kiwis are a little bit... Uh, the All Blacks a little bit shell-shocked there for a while. I don't think they were expecting us to come out with uh, the... Uh, the passion that we did, uh, but 16 all uh, draw and they hit, as you say, they hit that post. So uh, good luck to the Wallabies in the future and the Bledisloe Cup. But uh, yeah, uh, a, um, a great, the, the, all the pundits were saying, uh, one of the best round, rounds of uh, games of rugby they've seen in a long, long time. Uh, we also should um, uh, congratulate Daniel Ricciardo for a third place podium finish. 
and also Lewis Hamilton for equaling Michael Schumacher's 91 wow. record, yeah, uh, 91 wins in Formula One. And now that is phenomenal for a start, and Michael Schumacher, the legend, yeah, uh, setting that to uh, record. Oh, yeah. uh, and Lewis Hamilton and Mercedes in particular, I mean, uh, sure, somebody's got to pilot the vehicle around the course, yeah. uh, but Mercedes is just so dominant there, incredible vehicles. So we also had a couple of uh, world records in athletics, um, a new world record over 10,000 meters um, by nearly six seconds. So the person who actually holds the world record now over 5,000, 10,000 and five kilometer on the road is a guy from um, Uganda. Oh, okay. And uh, mm -hmm. to make sure that the, the women get, get uh, one momentum. Minute, momentum too, uh, a new world record also over 5,000 meters in the women, um, 14 minutes. Wow. And eight seconds. Um, very, very uh, good news in athletics. Gosh, okay. Now, Uber, there is a seat here on a Monday <laughs> morning for so. you anytime you want <laughs> yeah. to come in and Thank talk you. about sport. <laughs> Uh, we'd like somebody to come Very in um, and uh, mention unusual sports. Uh, well done. Uh, should we just have a quick look at uh, the games played in the NRL? That's another form of, uh, of, of football. Time. You have to tell us about golf too. Yeah, we will, um, because I, I didn't actually play, but I know what, what went on. But I'll, uh, we'll talk about that straight after we talk about uh, the uh, the two games that were uh, that were played in the NRL. Uh, well done to the Canberra Raiders beating the Roosters and uh, well done to uh, South Sydney Rabbitohs for uh, saying goodbye to uh, Parramatta Eels. So uh, the next two games to find out who's in the grand final. Uh, the Storm will be meeting the Raiders. I think uh, Melbourne might be a little bit too powerful for uh, Canberra. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Panthers so and the Rabbitohs. And I've got a feeling that the Panthers might win, but I'd like to see the Raiders and the Rabbitohs in the grand final. Uh, I think that'd be um, a uh, cracker of a match to any of those four teams. Once again, the That's grand awesome. final uh, yeah, for the yeah. AFL, the grand final for the NRL. Uh, got some good teams amongst it uh, this year. All right, golf. Uh, now look, I didn't play uh, on the weekend because um, we'll we be got uh, we got shipped off to Lake Argyle, so out of Kununurra, oh, so yeah. we weren't um, <laughs> by the daughter for having a birthday oh, party. Right. So I missed uh, <laughs> missed uh, golf. However, uh, congratulations to uh, the golfer of uh, the yeah, um, well, I suppose he's the golfer experiencing the purple patch at the moment. Two weeks ago, Steve Lehman won okay. the um, uh, Vinnie's mug, uh, yes. the uh, uh, September mug. Uh, and then on Thursday, just gone, he defeated the Wyndham Warrior, Skip Mater, uh -huh. uh, in match play, which is a hotly contested event here in Cunanara, like the right. Golf Club. Uh, so well done to Steve. And then he stepped up yesterday and uh, had a 78 off the stick Thanks for with a handicap down. of eight, so two under, um, and uh, wins another mug. Oh, I see that. So oh, no. two mugs in oh, two weeks. Very popular down two there. mugs in two weeks and a uh, and a match play championship in the middle there as well. Congratulations. So uh, he is playing some uh, very very fine golf. Uh, sure well done, Steve golf. Lehman. Do we have Steve any golfers Lamar. in the studio? No. no. Uber? No. No, just uh, just watching on. Uh, what about you, Alvin? You're a bit quiet there. Golf, greatest game of all. <laughs> you don't play? No. You will. You will one day. I can assure you that <laughs> when your uh, soccer skills leave you at the uh, well, mind you, you're still running around the paddock. Um, over. Yeah. Uh, oh, obviously, well, very very fit. Around around very the very fit. Uh, yeah. and and what else is sport good for everyone? Mental health. Do you know it's a mental health week this week? Is it right? So right. yeah, and I mean I'm sure that everyone who plays sport feels in some way that it helps, you know, them deal with lots of different aspects of their lives. I certainly couldn't be without it. I couldn't be without it either. Mm. And uh, and also the whole um, spectator side of things as well, and the volunteer side of things, and yes, watching your children play. It's 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 always good. To, um, great feeling to watch the kids play. Yeah. Um, it's great watching your mates play, your favourite team, and all that stuff. And your parents play and yeah, it's park run every week, also. <laughs> <laughs> brilliant. Yeah, well, you're looking forward to, uh, you're up and running this uh, this coming uh, Friday, uh, first week for uh, for, for next soccer. Week. Next week. Um, yes, uh, I will be helping out with, uh, with the high school. Next week. 
Sorry, this oh, coming Friday? Week. That should be Well, the kids week. are back to school yes, tomorrow. In four, four days' time. Yeah. Like this, this Friday, this between five and six. So we're looking <laughs> forward to seeing as many members as possible. So if you haven't enrolled online, maybe just and you join up and, yeah. The soccer club's one of the biggest multicultural clubs in town, I'd say, too. So that's really fantastic to see. Well, it is the world game. Is there oh, a doubt about right, that? Scotty. It is the world game. Yeah. Uh, and uh, on that note, we've uh, we've gone uh, six Mild, minutes past. Right? And we've got to, we've got to go <laughs> Uh, and um, we could talk sport for hours, uh, especially when we got uh, uh, <laughs> a whole bunch of people that really enjoy their sport. Uh, Steve, up front on the soccer pitch, thanks very much for popping in. Dominic in defence, making sure that those goals are pretty safe. And Alvin in the midfield, sort of organising the, uh, the whole team. Uh, and um, uh, thanks very much for popping in, boys. Uh, good luck with your, uh, with your soccer career. And uh, you're very, very lucky not only to have uh, uh, Olver as a coach, but also a German coach. Must be. <laughs> and a dad. Uh, How does that go, Dominic? <laughs> <laughs> thanks uh, thanks and, for having us. Man. And yeah, yeah Olver, so like I said, there's seats available anytime you want to come in and talk about your favourite sport <laughs> park run, soccer, athletics, motor racing, mm. golf, anything like that. Tennis. Uh, and tennis, <laughs> yeah. That's right. Uh, Chip's always a pleasure. Thanks very much. Yeah, You've, thank um, you, you want to tell everybody who you are? Oh, yeah. So I'm Maria Guy from the Department of Local Government, Sport and Cultural Industries, <laughs> working from Save the Children, and you can call me on 0448 445 348 or pop in and see me. Yeah, and do that. Please get in contact with Maria and uh, come into the studio and talk about your favourite sport. Uh, just like uh, Olga and the boys have come in to talk about uh, the great game, the beautiful game, the round ball, the world game, soccer. Thanks very much. We've got to go. We've got to go to the news. We've got to go there right now. We'll catch you uh, next Monday. Thanks, Chips. See you then, Fish. Yeah. See ya. Bye, guys. Bye.